What's up YouTube, it's Mr. Clean and welcome to the Pegasus 303 channel. The following tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Pro Tools version 10.3.10 .10 on Yosemite and uh, gives you an error message when you do it. So, okay, version 10.10.5 Yosemite and Pro Tools version 10.3.10. .10. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we attempt that. Go ahead and double click on your uh, installer. Okay, go ahead and install Pro Tools. Continue, continue. Okay, installation errors. Pro Tools cannot be installed because the following errors were found on your system. An incompatible version of the OS was found. Pro Tools 10.3.10 .10 requires Mac OS X version 10.7 or higher. And 10.7 or higher where 10.10.5, which is higher, but apparently it's too high. So what we can do is roll it back to 10.7 or 10.9. And the way to do that, it's a little tricky. So you want to back up your system. It's a good idea to do that anyway, just in case something really catastrophic happens. So if you haven't done so, I highly recommend you back your system up. Um, everything in case something goes haywire. It's not likely, but it's always good to uh, be careful. So what you want to do is go to your hard drive. System, Library, and Core Services. And we are looking for the system version.plist or property list. And before you do anything, um, go ahead and back it up. So I'll go ahead and drag it. I created a folder on the desktop called safe. And it doesn't hurt to back it up to yet another location. So maybe another separate drive that's not even connected or just another folder. Um, I'll go ahead and drop it in documents just for giggles. Okay. And right click on it. Open with. Okay. It's looking for Clover. So let's open it with simple text, which I have in my doc okay so what i want to do is this 10.10 .10 and 10.10 .10, let's go ahead and call it 10.9 and it's going to ask you to duplicate it because it won't let you modify the original so go ahead and create that okay let's go 10.9 and 10.9. Let me go ahead and save that. And I'll go ahead and save it to the desktop. All right, go ahead and close that. I'm just going to copy the name so it bears the plist extension. And keep text or use dot plist. Absolutely, uh, this is your property list, so you want to keep your dot plist. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just dump it. And remember, you have a original in here for safety reasons, and you're going to need it anyway. So go ahead and authenticate and enter replace. Try that again. Replace. Okay, and go ahead and enter your admin password. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to install Pro Tools again. Continue, continue. Okay, had to think for a second. All right, continue and agree. And you can choose to skip the Avid Playback Engine or whatnot, but let's go ahead and install Pro Tools 10.3.10. .10. Continue. All right, enter your admin password. And continue the installation. Okay, and uh, keep in mind what sort of system you have. Um, I have a non-HD hardware. If you have a TDM system, 
uh, HD Excel or actual HD hardware, HD native fun. So just be sure you know what you have, but uh, I have non HD hardware. So I'm going to click continue. All right, and at this point, you can either restore the property lists now or do it after, but you must do it before you reboot. If I were to do it now, in theory, it's not going to hurt anything, but I like to wait till it finishes the installation, and then I will replace that file. Go ahead and let that install. I was uh, recording the screen with QuickTime in the background, and that. Uh, it on me so I got my secondary camera in place for that exact reason so I may stop the video if it takes too long okay before I restart let me go ahead and uh, switch my other screen Bring that back over. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and replace it with the original one because I kept it in the safe place. Let's do that. Replace, authenticate. All right, enter your admin password. All right, so in theory, I can just go ahead and restart and then I'll be able to launch Pro Tools. Okay, for you Hackintosh users that may be using a NVIDIA graphics card, you'll need the NVIDIA web driver and you may get the following message. The default OS X graphics driver is now being used because the NVIDIA web driver, blah, 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 is not compatible with your current OS. You will be notified when a new version of the NVIDIA web driver is available. So it's thinking it's the old version despite we replaced or the old, the old operating system despite the fact we updated the version property list. So we'll go ahead and look and see if we can check now. All right. So let's go ahead and quit this. So we can grab the NVIDIA web driver. Um, go to TonyMacX86.com. Allow. And it's going to be a little glitchy because we are not utilizing the graphics card properly. Okay, scroll down and find the latest version for Yosemite, which is this one here, and click there and download. All right, so my first attempt, it wouldn't work. I rebooted several times. Then I got sidetracked, uh, put it on the back burner, uh, booted into my Sierra drive, did some other work, shut down, walked away for a bit. Um, I had to run some errands, came back. Worked like nothing ever happened. Second attempt. I had to uninstall the NVIDIA web driver, then install it again. And uh, for you Hackintosh users, uh, you got to remember to enter the appropriate boot flags. Um, NV underscore disable equals one if the driver is not installed, or NVDA underscore DRV equals one, and that's once the driver is installed. Um, also make sure there's no VGAs connected. Um, sometimes that can create havoc with uh, the NVIDIA graphics cards. It's a long shot, but did that same deal. Rebooted it several times, shut down, walked away, came back and it worked. The third attempt. And as I mentioned before, I did it several times. Uh, generally I'll do that before I do a video in case different things happen and then I can so give that information to you guys. So my third attempt, third time's a charm, right? Wrong. Still down. Been down for days and can't get it to work with all three monitors. So extreme cases. You can temporarily swap out the NVIDIA GPU for a vanilla or more of a basic card, then install the driver, pop in your NVIDIA graphics card, and reboot. You can uh, restore from your backup. That is why we have backups, folks. Um, you just uh, restore it and never touch it again. <laughs> Reinstalling the operating system. That won't be a simple task for Hackintosh users, uh, especially if you're using the Chimera bootloader for Yosemite, uh, which I'm 
actually using in this tutorial. Uh, there's some several steps you're going to have to do, and it's probably not worth the hassle. Clover um, bootloader with Yosemite may be a little easier, but uh, in my case, that's not happening. So I think this tutorial has probably been more of a novelty, uh, it's more of a niche kind of thing. So uh, if you don't really have to do this, I would not recommend it. But I had a need for Pro Tools 10, so I did it. Uh, fortunately, I do have a backup, so I can restore and get it back to normal. But uh, once again, please do this at your own risk. Uh, caution is advised. And please have redundant backups. Um, hard drives are fairly inexpensive now, so you can go ahead and you know, do a couple of redundant backups and have that just in case. And, and, and it's really good just for your day-to-day for your day -day life, photos, videos, uh, system files, documents, things like that. Okay, please remember to like and subscribe below. Also, click the notification button so you can stay up to date. I'm hoping to start doing some more videos again. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Take care, folks.